Today, for um, the first video of Vlogoween, I'm actually going to be doing a Halloween haul. Ooh. It's just me! What's up, everybody? And welcome to the first video of Vlogoween. It is officially Vlogoween week here at the Harrington household. And this week we're going to be doing daily videos up until um, the day after Halloween. The celebration of, what else? Halloween! Went shopping and got so much fun stuff for Halloween, including these crazy things. How awesome are these? Gonna be wearing these every video for this week in celebration of Vlogoween, so yeah. Totally fun. Anyway, yeah, so I went shopping and got everything I needed for costumes, for other videos for this week, and the candy for the trick-or-treaters. Basically everything in this pile is for this week. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of go through with you everything that I got and where I got it from, just in case anybody's interested in them, because it's Halloween and I went crazy and it's going to be super fun, so I thought you should see everything I got. So up first... What else but these crazy fun headbands. These are obviously little monster ones and I got a few more. These are them. These are obviously um, Jack o' Lantern ones. These are spiders. And these are bats with the cute little pink on the back. Oh, they're so cute. Guys, these are from the Dollar Tree. And can I tell you that these are just like so fun and I wanted us to like get in the spirit during the videos and I thought this would just be such a super cute little um, extra for the videos and just for dress up and stuff like that so that's those. Next we got the kids um, trick or treat trick or treat bags and we get them new ones every year sometimes we'll do the little pumpkins um, and sometimes we'll do something else but when we were at the Dollar Tree we saw these <laughs> and they're really cute because look they're see-through look you can see my hand through them so that way they can see how much candy they have and I thought these were so cute this one's a cat for Skylar and this one's a minion with candy corn and it says never too much candy sorry if it gets a little, sorry if it gets a little loud the boys are in the background for a dollar they're a really good size you can't can't really beat that. So next, I got a bunch of craft stuff. For one of our videos, we're going to be using this stuff. So, spoiler alert, keep an eye out. Not going to be telling you what we're using them for. I'm just going to tell you what it is and where we got it. So these are fun little googly eyes. And they're all different colors. This is just some black felt. These three things are decorations for pumpkins this one has a bat a cat a witch and just a pumpkin with a little bow tie and this one has a pirate I think that's a raccoon a man with a funny face and a bat and this one's a mummy one and it comes with all the stuff in the back and all this stuff this craft stuff was from the Dollar Tree you guys they have some really, really cute stuff. Like, I went in there thinking I could get a few things, and I actually ended up coming out with quite a bit of stuff. So, yeah. Next is actually the last thing we got from the Dollar Tree, and it's hair color. This one is pink, and this one is purple. It's going to be used for Skylar's uh, costume. Not going to be telling you guys what she is because I don't want to ruin it. You might be able to figure it out once I show you the costume, but might not. So, here's a little hint. Next up, that's right, Halloween Oreos. This is also going to be being used in a future video. However, I had to get them. They are so fun, and um, they're Oreos. Who doesn't love Oreos, right? Continuing on with food, we got some white Ghirardelli melting wafer chocolates. Fudge brownie mix. No, I do not bake from scratch. Next, 
Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Minis. I cannot tell you guys how happy I am that the whole peanut butter cups are no more was a hoax because I love <laughs> Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. So does everyone else in the family and I would have been so devastated. So I was happy to find out that they were still making them. Next, Ghirardelli Milk Chocolate Chips. Yum. These are delicious. If you're going to bake with chocolate chips, I'd go with these. We've got some fun Twizzler Pulls. My favorite, Milky Ways. Love Milky Ways. Some Halloween Sprinkles. And can I just tell you guys that I was kind of bummed that they didn't have these ones with the purple in them because I think purple is such a key Halloween color. But I also didn't feel like buying a separate purple sprinkle one either. And so I just bought this one. I figured, you know what, it's gonna do the job anyway. But they're cute little ball sprinkles, orange and black. And then for the candy, Kit Kats. But not just any Kit Kats, guys. Triple chocolate. I think that's enough said right there. I cannot. These are for the trick-or-treaters, but I'm totally trying one of these. <laughs> Last on the list for the candy is these adorable candy eyeballs. Super fun about those. All the candy is from Walmart. Everything I got, the sprinkles and the candy and the chocolate, it's all from Walmart. Guess what, guys? Walmart That's right. I still have more. I am going to go through the costumes. I'm going to do as best I can to show Aiden's costume without anybody being able to guess what it is, but you'll probably figure it out. So I'm just gonna cover up a bunch of stuff here. And then maybe you guys. So this is Aiden's. And it's got these really cool tattoos on it. He's gonna have his hair colored. I bought this green hairspray to go with it. I don't want to keep showing you his costume, but it's got tattoos on it and it's got face paint. So he's going to have face paint on and then this is for his hair. The costume is from Walmart and the hairspray, this green one, is from uh, Spirit Halloween. Walmart didn't have any of this color and the dollar store didn't have any green, so I had to go there for that. So next up is Skylar's. So this is a little headband and tail. Kind of a little bit of a spoiler alert there. Haven't figured it out already. But I love this one. They had a few different ones. But I really like this one because this one came with the bangs and it came with the pastel colors. And I love the pastel look of this costume. This came from Spirit Halloween. They have different ones at um, the five, at five below, but they're like rainbowy colors, red, orange, like the bright stuff. It's not pastel like this. So if you're looking for something more feminine and girly, this is from Spirit Halloween. Next to go with that, some fun pastel makeup. It's got the makeup crayons. It comes with some face glitter. It comes with the little makeup sponges. It comes with a little um, powder thing. It's probably for the glitter, I'm assuming. It comes with a brush to do the eyes and the lips with this. And then also for her costume is this adorable purple tutu. And the best part about it is it's got pink sparkles, pink glitters. It probably looks like purple in the camera, but um, they're actually pink. So I got purple and pink in this. I originally was going to get a light blue one, but I like this to have both colors in it. So This is from Walmart. Really cheap. It was only five bucks for this. So. so next for her costume is this white shirt. Just a plain white shirt. And this is from Walmart. It was, I think it was like six dollars. And this is part of her costume as well. Finally to go with Skylar's outfit is hair glitter. Um, I didn't want her hair to just be dyed, I wanted it to sparkle, 
Um, so I bought this really pretty, almost rose gold looking hair glitter. So I think it's going to be really, really pretty. And then finally I have the boys costumes. Not sure if you're going to be able to figure this out, but they're obviously going to match because they're twins. They both got a pair of plain red pants. Walmart. $3.88, guys, for this. And a plain red shirt. And to go with those, the blue hairspray. Yes, I'm going to put hairspray in my twin's hair. And they're going to look adorable. If you guys still can't figure out what they might be, there is more to come. I'm not leaving the clothes plain. And you'll get to see the whole shebang come Halloween. So make sure to keep an eye out for the Halloween vlog when we take the kids out trick-or-treating. And guys, that's it. That's everything. I got so much stuff between Walmart and the dollar store and the Halloween store. I can't wait to use all this. I can't wait to get the kids' costumes all straightened out and put together. It's going to be a great Halloween week. Make sure to like this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell if you haven't already so that way you can follow along with us for the rest of the week. Let me know down in the comments below uh, what you guys are doing to celebrate Vlogoween and what your kids are going to be dressing up as Halloween because I cannot wait to see everybody's kids costumes. It's going to be super fun. Bye!